Hey everybody, welcome back to my True Crime channel. If you are my True Crime channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell button so I'm not for any True Crime video. If you are on my True Crime channel, hi, welcome. If you are on my True Crime channel, welcome back. So today's case, I'm going to talk about the case of Shana Shaver, a 12 year old girl who was found dead. He was found beaten, stabbed, and set on fire. And that case is brutally sad to talk about. This is my second time recording this video. The first I did, I started recording the video. It's almost about a 20 minute video. And I almost about done with that video. But I realized when I started recording the video, I left the app on my laptop and where right now. And it didn't stay. So I didn't realize that once you do click off the camera roll, to do something else, the bill will not be saved. If you stay on it, it will be saved as long as, as, long as, you, as, long as you let. Anyways, got your snacks, got your wine, and get you started. Shana Sh Shana Sugar Shana Sugar was born on June 6, 1979 in Pineville, Kentucky. Her father was Stephen Sugar and mother Jacqueline. Jackie had been married before, but she got remarried to Stephen, then they had Shauna. Her parents were divorced when Shauna was young, and her mom took her to move to Louisville, Kentucky. She was a happy, bubbly girl. She was good at school, and she played sports. She was a cheerleader. She played volleyball team. She did gymnastics, and she also played basketball. She loved to make friends. On June 19th, again, she got divorced again. Around Shauna's birthday, they both moved to New Albany, Indiana, so she can be close to her dad. Shonda was trying to be nice by giving the ring back from the girlfriend. A girl named Amanda. Chefs and then chefs Shonda to the rocker. She has been known for fights. They have been one week. They both got one week, one week attention and they became friends. I will not be friends with somebody who put their hands on me. Once they put their hands on me, it's game over and we're not friends. Period. No beef, nothing but not be friends with somebody who chooses violence. Especially they're nothing to you. That's when Shonda became to, that's when Shonda became to change. She had been her behavior since to change. She had bad grades. She went from a good girl to a bad girl. And Shonda and Mena learned about each other. Shonda knew that Mena had an on and off again relationship with a girl named Melinda. So Shonda knows that Mena is a lesbian and had an on and off again relationship with a girl named Melinda. The jealous type. The crazy chick. They both was toxic. They would break up and get back together. Amanda and Melinda were not together with Amanda and Shana were friends. Melinda came from a abusive home from her parents for Larry and Marguerite. Her parents had a abusive relationship. Melinda witnessed her father rape and sexually abuse her mother and he was abused with his sisters and her cousins. Melinda's mom said Larry messed up all of his children and she said, also said that Larry slept in his daughter's room until she was 14. That is sick and nasty. Like, what kind of person are you to lay in your child's bed till she's 14? That's disgusting. I feel like if he would have a kid, I feel like y'all should not be treating them, treating them disrespect or any type of harm or hurt to them. Because that's what you can talk them, you let them do bad stuff to people when they grow older. That's disgusting. Like, uh, I cannot stand rape this. The mom called Larry, called Larry looking at his daughter, attacked him, and got arrested. And after the arrest, he was at the hospital. And after he got released from the hospital, he filed for a divorce and remarried and had other children. Which he should not have other children because if you're going to rape your daughters, you should not have other children, period. As Shauna allowed during the school dance, Shauna said yes, but it ended up really bad because Melinda multiple times on the vacations. Belinda threatened Shauna multiple occasions in public at the point where Shauna's grades were bad. She felt all her class because Amanda taught her to go for a tremendous signature, which you guys should never done. I did that before elementary and high school, never again, because eventually they're, they're going to find out. I did got trouble though at elementary school, but in high school I didn't, so. For her mom signatures. Center, so she wouldn't get in trouble, but her mom found out. Anyways, duh. <laughs> anyways, 
and she was mad and forbidden Sean to see Amanda. But as little kids, they said, oh, mom was checked in the mail and found out that Sean and Amanda were sending to each other. But then the notes were also realized that she was in a romantic and sexual relationship. We began to talk about having sex and stuff like that, which a 12 year old girl should not be talking about. And she like, my daughter is 12 years old, she does not have sex. Jackie transferred Shana to another school, she still talked to Amanda. There were three other females of the company named Laura Target, who was 17. She grew up in an abusive home with abusive parents, cops in an the house. She was in out of the mental hospital because she had borderline personality disorder, which I just right here. Uh, the other girl was Hope Ripley, who was 15, and she was also living in Madison, Indiana, with friends with Laura. Hope's parents didn't like them being friends. The last girl is Tony Lawrence, who is also 15. Her and Tony were childhood friends. On June 10, 1992, Laura said that they were going to go grow up tonight and hoped that they was lying about it, but they were not. Melinda came to the car holding a large knife and says that she went to scare the shit out of Shonda, who stole her girlfriend. She didn't see her girlfriend talking about Amanda and that they should told Shauna that Amanda is at the witch castle. Which is a place where teens would go to have drinks, smoke, party, have sex, etc. Belinda jumps out of the car, puts a knife in Shauna's throat. Shauna is screaming and begs that she does not want to get her, she wants to go home. Please do not hurt her, please do not hurt her, I want to go home. Melinda says, shut up, bitch. And as the girl was tied, she ended up scaring her, saying that the, the place is taunted by dead people. Laura lights her shirt up on fire and told Sean that soon it will be her. They left the witch castle for a gas station nearby. Laura covered Sean with a blanket. They drove around and found a woods that, that they made Sean strip naked, Melinda strip naked. Melinda beat Sean with her first fist. Took her face from her knees so many times that her mouth bleed from her own braces. So her hope got out the car and pulled Shauna down as Laura and Melinda took turns stabbing Shauna in the chest and wrapped around a rope on Shauna's neck till she passed out unconscious. They throw her body on the trunk and tell Laura and the girls that, they, that Shauna is dead and drove back to Laura's house to clean themselves and drink some sodas. They both heard Shonda screaming in the trunk, so Laura begins to stab Shonda repeatedly. Really. Laura and Melinda left the other girls behind the house. They beat her with a tire iron while Shonda was choked in her own blood. Shonda was still alive during the beating. Hope participated in the attack spray windows on Shonda's eyes. Hope and Laura wrapped around Shonda in a blanket. She is still alive, and they carried her poor... They carry four poor they carry around a gasoline and set her on fire and let on fire. They took off after Shauna died. The girls were laughing at his sausage that reminded them of a corpse of Shauna's, which is disgusting. Of course. The girls told Melinda about what happened and she turned to go home immediately. The man found the remains in the woods at 12 15 p.m. At 12 p.m., a detective's enforcing person arrived and shocked on Shauna's death. Her body was burned, beaten, stabbed, and found in sexual position. Her stepdad looked for Shauna, but it wasn't there. At 8.30 p.m., Tony went to the police department with her father and started crying and confessed to everything. And then she told them everything went down. Everything happened detail to detail. The police got to the address that Tony told them and found out a missing report for Shonda because the parents filed a missing report for Shonda. When Jerry told the girls were all arrested, all charged as adults, except that plea deals to, to avoid the death penalty. Lori and Melinda were both sentenced to 60 years in prison. Hope did got 60 years, but then it all got reduced to 35. 
and Tony West was sentenced, was sentenced to 20 years. Which I don't know why she got 20, but she did got 20 because she participated and she um, confessed to the police everything. But I feel like this attack was so brutal, was so messed up. Like, Shauna was on 12. She had a whole life to live for. It. She did not accept that because she was dating a 14 year old girl. Ex girlfriend was so crazy and jealous of the relationship. It's just like, girl, why are you mad and pressed that they're in a relationship? Why are you just gonna move with that another girl your own age? But you're mad that a 12 year old girl is dating your 14 year old girlfriend. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I would never be that type of jealous person. Where to point I'm like, oh, you didn't my man? Right now, I'm gonna kill you. Da, 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 I'm gonna fight. That's so dumb. Like, people are so dead fighting over a girl or a boy, a man or a woman. We are too old for that. We are too grown for that. I got stuff to lose for. I'm not about to lose my time to fight somebody over a guy, over a girl. I can not imagine being stabbed repeatedly over and over again, begging, please don't hurt me. I'm gonna go home. But y'all set this girl on fire. To the point where she's dead. Y'all did all that because she didn't dating somebody else not be her age. It just it's so sad. It's really sad. <sighs> so that's why today's video like kind of subscribe. You know, if you guys have any other true kind of case for me to tell, comment down below and I'll screenshots the comments you guys comments you guys have for me to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next true kind of video. Bye!